Hey guys, it's the drive-by guy here and wanted to do something that uh, I'm not sure if is available out there. If it is, I don't think it's very easy to find. And what I find is that there's a ton of questions on outside resources like Reddit um, and, and other places like that, forums like uh, ISR TV, uh, Inside Sim Racing, where people that are not members of iRacing but are thinking about joining iRacing have questions, want to know what it's like, they're not sure if they want to pull the trigger. So what I thought I would do is record a series of videos. I'm going to try to keep them um, pretty short, um, but but just do you know multiple ones to try to cover um, pretty much everything as far as kind of the interface and what it looks like when you become a member. Um, just to give you an idea so you don't actually have to start paying money before you get to even see what the thing looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. So what you're looking at on this page is this is the home screen once you've logged in to iRacing. So the only thing that happens before this is putting in your email and your password. Um, it is web-based, so everything is going to be done through the website. So once you're in here, this is the view um, or the look that you get. Uh, upon logging in and really take away some of this information I guess you, you should you know you could say that it's more like this so what we have up here is obviously just kind of some advertisements on each side pretty standard uh, you know website here with the main content in the middle and then what you have up here uh, this is obviously just a return to the home page here would just bring you back here and then over here you've got some information and what this information is, is the way that iRacing is based. Is, um, you've basically got two rating systems on yourself, and it's broken up between both oval and road. So the top section here, this is oval, and uh, the two rating systems are how safe you are, called safety rating, and then your overall ranking, or I rating is what it's called, um, is this number here on the right. Everybody starts out at, I believe, 1500, and I, I'm not sure, um, but I think it's safe to say that the pro drivers now, um, typically somewhere in the 6000 plus range as far as their I rating goes. And then this here is your safety rating. Basically, it just gives you a rating on um, how. how <clears throat> how safe you are and this is the way to unlock and move your way up through the service everybody starts out with a, an R for rookie and uh, basically once you get to a 4.0 and there's some other little nuances and stuff but basically when you get to a 4.0 uh, it'll move you up to the next level how do you get that well by running time trials um, and not getting into incidences by going out and running races and not getting into incidents uh, during the race. Um, at the conclusion of the races, you will see increases in both your safety rating as well as your I rating if you perform well, as well as detractions from those two numbers if you don't perform well um, as well. So uh, this is where I'm at here on the oval side. So I'm an A class driver that's the top level without getting into pro so I'm an A-class driver safety ratings not so hot right now I'd like to see it up above the 3.0 3.5 range uh, and then that's my rating overall which isn't too terribly bad road racing I recently got into um, so that's why you will see I'm only a C-class driver there and then obviously a very low uh, I rating maybe you start out at a 1200 I can't remember but um, Obviously, uh, I'm still learning here, and I'm in the kind of the lower ranks on the road side of things. So uh, this is, you know, this is what this is for. Um, and then you just kind of take a look here. You see that there's quite a bit of information. I'll start getting into, uh, you know, each one of these tabs, kind of break it down and show you what's available and what you can take a look at and um, all the different parts to being on the service here in future videos. Um, so I'll add this to a playlist, and you can go ahead and click on to the next one if it's available. See you there.